Hey everybody, this is uh, Dr. Nelson. This is a video on discrete and continuous functions. All right, by the end of this video, my goal is to have you be able to, be able to understand the difference between the two types of functions. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to take notes on the first few pages, and then I want you to try some on your own, and then at the end you can see how you how you did. All right, so continuous functions, what exactly are they? All right, well, Think about it, continuous, all right? To continue means to keep on going, right? So take a look at this first graph, all right? One way to tell if a function is continuous is if you can trace along the graph without ever having to lift up your pencil, all right? Notice there's no gaps in this, this function. All it is is just a straight line, okay? Now for this time, all right, this time there could be curves, that's fine, all right? But as long as you don't have to pick up your pencil to go from one side to the other side of the graph, you know it's continuous. All right. Another key thing about this is the x values. All right. Now we talk about the x values. We're talking about the x axis, right? So what I want you to write down on here is the x value can be any real number. All right, so what do I mean by that? Okay, if you look at this, the, the uh, x axis, so here we have zero and we have two, all right? So when x is zero, we can tell y is gonna be around five, right? And then when x is two, we can see that y is gonna be around, eh, maybe around seven, okay? But there's a value for x for every value in between zero and two, all right? So we could do like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 1, 1 1.2, Every single value between zero and two, all right, is there. All right, there's no gaps. All right, same thing going this way. All right, there's a value for negative two and negative four and, and so on, but for every single x value, for every single real number, there's an x value. All right. Another sign that uh, a function is continuous is if it's written in slope intercept form. All right, so if you see a function written in slope intercept form, you automatically know it's going to be continuous. All right, so now let's take a look at the next page of your notes. And now we're gonna talk about discrete functions, okay? And notice how this graph appears to be quite different than the graph on the previous page, right? Okay, so what's the difference between discrete functions and continuous functions, all right? So discrete functions, the x value only occurs at certain points. All right, and really any table normally shows the values of discrete functions. All right, so for example, here we know that when x is zero, y is zero. All right, when x is one, y is one. When x is two, y is four. But notice there's nothing in between the one and the two. There's no 1.5 or 1.25, right? It's only just a few select x values and y values. Okay, that's a sign that the function is discrete, all right? So again, going back up to the continuous, right? When there's a value for all the x values, all right? That's a sign that's continuous. And then going, going back down here, when there's only a few x values, like most tables have, okay? That's a sign that uh, it's a discrete function, all right? So let's take a look at the next page. And let's try to identify if the uh, function is discrete or continuous, all right? So take a look at the first one right here. So notice there's only, these points are, are separated, right? There's gaps, right? Anytime you see gaps, uh, you know this is gonna be a discrete function, all right? The second one here, notice I can trace over the entire graph without lifting up the pencil, all right? And I'm gonna assume that there's arrows here at the end, all right? Because of that, this is gonna be continuous. All right, the third one. Again, notice there's arrows at the end of the graph. That means these it's gonna go in both directions continuously forever, right? Okay, um, again, it's a nice straight line and it goes on forever, so it's linear. So this is gonna be continuous. All right, this next one has an X and Y table. And notice that there's only four points for X. 
right? Again, continuous includes all the x values, all the real numbers. So this one is going to be discrete. And then last but not least, we have y equals 5x plus 2, okay? And because this is in slope intercept form, we know it's going to be linear. And because it's linear, it's going to go in both directions, continuous. So this is a continuous function, all right? All right, now that you know the difference between continuous and discrete functions, uh, pause the video and try the problems on the next page. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems, okay? So the first one, we have an X and Y table, all right? And remember, like I said before, anytime you have an X and Y table, this is a sign that automatically is going to be discrete, all right? Because it only shows just a few X values, right? Think about it. It'd be impossible to show a table that has all the X values. It'd go on forever, okay? So that's discrete. This next one is linear, okay? And notice there's arrows going both directions, which means this is going to be a continuous function. All right. The next one we have an equation, and notice this is written in slope-intercept form, and that's a sign that it's going to be continuous. And the last one, 2x plus y equals 6, well, we could transform this to write it in slope-intercept form. So this is now going to be y equals negative 2x plus 6, and because it's in slope-intercept form, we know it's going to be continuous. All right, how'd you do?